Hey guys, um, Adam here, or as you guys know, Zinc Edits, and today I have a new tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to um, do the wave warp effect in Sony Vegas, and now I'm just going to show you what that looks like. Uh, it's right after the shot. Yeah, the, the screen just kind of like waves a little bit, so uh, let's get started. Alright, so what you're going to need is wave effect. Uh, you're going to need... I don't know if this is on uh, Pro 9, but it is on Pro 10, and um, it helps, you don't need it, but to have a uh, new blue V2 lens correction, that helps, you don't need it, but it makes it look a lot better. Alright, so now let's just, let's just get to the shot, which is right here, and what I do is I, you want to press S to split, and then go to the spot that looks best, like there, kind of zoom in. Shorten that. Uh, press Control and then drag. Make it short to uh, make it faster. And then right here, what you want to do is um, you want to go to Reset to None. And then you want to oh my bad wait sorry. <laughs> um, on Wave, you want to go to Reset to None. And basically, what you want to do is you need to copy down these. I'll zoom in on these. Uh, and Sony Vegas later, but these are the settings you need to you need to copy down for the beginning. All right, so vertical waves is 9.140, horizontal waves is 1.210, horizontal amplitude is 18, and everything else is zero. Okay, so then you want to hit animate, and you want to come 12 seconds in, or 12 milliseconds, sorry. So right about there, 12 seconds into the clip. And you want to and you want to change your settings to this. And it helps if you save them. Um, now your vertical waves should be uh, 5.710, and your horizontal waves should be 0 0.184, and horizontal amplitude should say 18. And then you want to come three milliseconds later to 15, and you want to copy down these settings, which is vert vertical waves 6.850 and everything else 0 and the horizontal amplitude 0 0.18 all right um, so basically it, it kind of it looks okay like a, it's not the best looking wave that you can do so we're gonna try it. so basically it also helps if you uh, if you put twixter on that clip because then the you can see the wave a lot better all right so now you have your wave uh, if you do have new blue v2, um, what you want to do is you want to come, you want to put reset to none. Put that on there as well. And you want to copy down these settings right quick. You need 7.9 distortion and 20.8 zoom. That's what you want on the front. And then you want to come to 12 seconds again and you want to reset that to none. That's not 12 seconds. Um, and here we go. Alright, so this is kind of what it should look like afterwards. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, and then you can just kind of mess around with this with some light flash and everything. Alright, thanks guys. And uh, if you guys have any more requests for editing, please let me know. All right, I just started. I just started doing tutorials. If you guys have any tutorial requests, sorry, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll try to do it. Thank you guys. Oh, 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 here come that